Hello, hello, hello. We're here again for another thrilling episode of Merry Go Round. Yeah? Um, the bit, one of the, they say you should regret nothing. Regret nothing, they say. I have very few regrets buying a news agent's uh, starting a, a forum about that band many years ago. Um, but most important, my biggest regret is opening up suggestions to you guys if you give me money on Patreon and the member thingy. That's, that's my biggest regret because people ask for things. They ask you to review albums. And albums you don't necessarily seek out. And that's for good reason. And so we come once again. I actually had to buy this. This is Grobschnitt. Or as I call them, gross shite. Um, they're some sort of German soft rock band. They're not prog. They're not prog. Um, and this is their album, Merry Go Round. Uh, released in 1979. As I said to the missus before I put it in. I made the missus listen to this. I said, one, they're German. And two, 1979. The fag end of all this stuff. This isn't going to be good. Um, but yeah, I actually had to pay for this because I couldn't listen to it anywhere. I, I'm, I don't know anything other than it was released in 1979. And, you know, oh, you've got the people that play on it and they've all got bloody pseudonyms. Oh, and that's that really. Um, so I had to pay cash for this from Amazon and this I can't see when it was who it was by who released this Brain and Ver is that Vertigo and Universal so it's a good one it's a proper one 70, 79 minutes holy moly and it's got some bonus tracks on it as well so you get the album and then you get some bonus tracks there you go the booklet's good I thought the booklet was good I'm going to I'll show you the booklet so it's not all bad, the music's bad, but I thought the CD reissue was good. You get a booklet, and and, and in the booklet, you know, there's there's stuff and there's cuttings from the time. The problem is it's all in foreign, isn't it? It's all in foreign, so I can't read it. You see, but I thought that was nice. I, I like that. And they've got some sort of weird uh, village people vibe going on here, but without without the costumes. Village people's day off. You know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, so that was, that was good, um, yeah, it's hot, it's, it's not good, not good at all, not good, not for me, I, d I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like the band, I think they're, I think they're, I think they're horse shit, to put it politely, um, the worst part, I mean, the funny thing is, right, is musically, I mean, they say that they're prog rock, but I'd probably align them more with the, I don't know, soft slash kind. Of, no, not even. So, I'd say symphonic, but it doesn't really rise. This one doesn't really get off the ground musically. It's very, very, much, very samey. It's very familiar to you know what's gone before. You know, there's nothing new here. Again, 1979. It's 1979 for God's sake. However, again, we were listening to this together, me and the missus, you know, because you know, I'm I'm a I'm a horrible, wicked husband, you know. I would have got the kids to listen if I could, but you know, they they've got wise to my putting on prog on the you know. Van de, I used to put Van de Graaff generator on to get them out of the room, you know. There will be noise. The neighbours having carpet installed. Baby daddy's gone. He's left. So she's getting carpet put in. Um, so yeah, we was listening to this. And we both we both mentioned this. It sounds you can hear that maybe oh, again. I don't know how the, if there is a connection, but in places it has a very Meridian kind of on on the musical side, on the actual music side. The phrasing, you know, Meridian. I thought Meridian. Maybe they and, and camel. I thought well, there was some camel in there as well. Um, 
Uh, that was that was a curious that was a curious thing. But my biggest problem is the vocalist. Now, does he deliberately sing with a nose peg on and his mouth full of marbles? Because I because the missus said, "Oh, he's singing in German." I went, "He's not. That's that's English. That's the English shies." But I couldn't understand a word he was singing. <laughs> and that's that is that is a realistic portrayal of the vocals on this. So musically, I mean, but the vocals just uh, not good this time. Didn't didn't cut it for me. Um, and I couldn't wait for it to end. I really couldn't. However, there's one good piece on it. Du Schaft das nicht, which is largely instrumental. I really, I really liked it, but of course they dribbled on some vocals towards the end, which is a great shame because musically I thought it was the more most interesting piece on the record. Um, you know, and again there's this, you know, oh they're a bit funny, oh don't they quirky? Quirky equals annoying. Bubbly equals irritating. You know, there's this shorthand. You know what I'm saying? Someone's bubbly. They're irritating, quirky, annoying. You know, I'm getting with this. You know, chatty won't stop talking. Yeah. Look, you've got to get used to it. You've got to get used to the noise because it's. I'm sure you can hear the dog snoring. You can hear the workman working. But I'm here trying to do stuff. The muse calls. I have the urge to make videos. I must respond. I cannot be responsible for the background noise. Um, there are some bonus tracks, and they're all live. They're all live material, so you can get them. You can hear them do um, how many tracks off the album? One, two, three, four. Four tracks from from the record live, and a couple of other ones that are from other records. Um, Not for me, not for me. Um, the person who dominate who nominated this um, was it was it Contentious Bone? I can't remember. I, I always get the names mixed up. Max, I think his real name is Max. I, don't know if, I think I've fudged the names up. Sorry if I've blamed you. Um, says this is one of his favourite albums. Who am I to argue with that? Taste is subjective. All right, I would never criticise him for this being his one of his favourite albums but you're mad you're insane you need to get out more you need to listen to more music and and you've got a you've got a kind of drop in this German nonsense ah <laughs> uh, yeah uh, so yeah I, I didn't I did not have a good time I did not enjoy it um, I'm sorry. And that's why one of my biggest regrets is asking people to nominate reviews because <laughs> they always seem to go for this obscure nonsense. I think they, they do it deliberately to just to annoy me. Um, so there we go. Uh, I, I'm going to say it one more time. Progressive Rock is a British export. We came up with it. It's what we do. Everything else is just a mere facsimile and is not progressive in the slightest. If this was German progressive rock, then they would um, be inspired by their own musical culture. You know what I'm saying? German classical music, perhaps. Uh, their, their folk music. Um pa pa bands, you know? The old Lederhosen. I think it touches on that in one of the tracks. I think one, one, of, the, one of the tracks touches on, on that kind of... Oktoberfest, you know, faux Germanic stuff, but yeah, I mean, really, the whole point, the whole point of progressive music is it 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 looks at other musical genres and takes influence from that and, and mixes it, and this doesn't. It's just like a soft rock, you know. It's fairly standard stuff. There's, I mean, they can play. There's some nice synth textures on it, um, but you know.
but you know, not for me. I'm sorry. I can only apologise. Uh, check it out if you want. Go and read the reviews on the very many prog review sites out there. I think one of them is it prog archives they've got the best because it does veer from five stars to two stars you know and i think that probably give you the best uh, kind of because I, I can't i'm um, this review's rubbish i'm 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 just done i don't i don't care for it i don't care for it you know it's there's a reason why we don't hear of these people it's because they're not it's not very good it's not very good. That's why I'm not in the chart because my music's not very good, and it's the same with this. Limited. It's limited, like me. Uh, and I'm going to give it two. Du, du shafts das nicht out of five. That's two du shafts das nicht out of five, and it gets two points for du shafts just das nicht the track, and three knocked off for that guy singing because it's not singing. It's I don't know what it is mumbling into a microphone it's funny because the, the instrument is a really good production but the vocal parts just sound like he was i don't know had a bag on his head you know, you know singing into a bucket or something very strange but hey that's germania for you that's that's your german prog isn't it it's a funny old game and with that there's only one more thing left to say and that is our wiedersehen <laughs>